G'day people, welcome back to the lab. We're going to update the firmware on this Yamaha receiver today. This will work on most RX-V and HDR Yamaha receivers, so why should you do this? Your receiver may have some wacky faults, uh, you may want the updates for the latest bug fixes and or features. On the newer receivers, we have two options, either network or USB update. Which one do I use? Firstly, check if your Yamaha receiver has a network port on the back. This is traditionally used for network streaming of radio stations. If you have a network cable going into the back and you can stream radio stations, you know that the network port is configured and functional. So if your network port is functional, the best method for you to use is the network method. The easiest way to do this is by making sure your receiver is off by hitting the power button. The display should go blank. Hold down the straight button while simultaneously pushing the power button then release the straight button, select program to get update USB, then straight to select network, select info to lock in a network update. If everything goes well, your Yamaha will start downloading the latest firmware. When this update is complete, your Yamaha will say update success. turn off, turn back on. For a more in-depth video on network updates, click the card in the top right corner. But if this fails, you will have to go for the USB method. The easiest way to do this is by making sure your receiver is off by hitting the power button. The display should go blank. Hold down the straight button while simultaneously pushing the power button. Then release the straight button. Select program to get update USB. Insert the USB key with the latest firmware update into your Yamaha. Press the info button. Then the Yamaha will download the update of the USB key. When this update is complete, your Yamaha will say update success. Turn off. Turn back on. For a more in-depth video on USB updates, including how to get the firmware onto the USB stick, click the card in the top right corner. If your Yamaha is still playing up after the firmware update, you may have to do a full system reset and take it back to factory default. Click the card in the top right hand corner for that. If you have any further questions, check out the FAQ or frequently asked questions in the description or the comments. Hopefully this has fixed your problem. If you're interested in repairing other stuff yourself, check out the rest of our channel. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. Other than that, we will see you next time in the lab.